were starving to death and we were staying behind dumpsters and staying in this back of a car when we were in Farmer's Branch. I don't make enough myself to be able to to get an apartment. How much, how much do you make? I make about 500 every two weeks. So it's not enough for me to be able to like pay what I gotta pay. Like I gotta pay phone bill and then of course getting to back and forth to work. It's eye opening in that there's just so much going on out there that the city doesn't see because out of sight, out of mind, people look the other way and don't wanna see it sometimes. So, but there's a lot of people out there. That's one of the, that's honestly one of the more difficult things about doing homeless outreach as well is realizing that it's probably going to take a lot of effort to help someone get off the street. Um, when you think about the things that people are facing and what they're going through, it's just going to be difficult for the majority of society to even empathize or understand what someone might be going through. We have a large population of the disabled population within Denton and the amount of money that is coming in with the Social Security Administration with their Social Security checks is not large enough. The growing amounts to go towards rent and the amount of food and things like that. So there is a growing population of homelessness within Denton. So it's getting bigger and bigger every day. Asking for too much rent. Yeah, the, we gotta make three wants, times the rent. So uh, everybody wants either three times or two times the rent. It's pretty much really, really hard. Um, I moved to Denton about two years ago, and when I got here and I started seeing how many vacancies we had within the affordable housing, um, those 31 communities that I mentioned that offer affordable housing, and then I looked at the homeless prop, uh, problem, obviously there is a disconnect, and I realized something has got to be done. I had the opportunity that they needed volunteers for the pit count. I wanted to be part of it because I want to make sure that just by serving in that small way and just really a few hours time today, then that helps ensure that all of Denton County, our whole area, um, can be more aware of what's needed and then hopefully we can lobby for funding and for um, resources that are needed to help the people in our community that need that help. Now we're working on, okay, what's that journey like from homeless to housed and how do we as a community make sure that we've got the mechanisms in place not only to shelter people when they, when they need shelter but to house them when they need housing. The challenge is it's here. Now unlike other cities um, like the bigger cities surrounding, you know, there are multiplicity of resources but um, I think we're on the verge of developing some of those of possibilities right here with doing stuff like what we're doing right now because humans are humans and we all need something at some point in our life. <laughs>